Christ and faith in the King. Israel united in Christ who we be. Wherever our people be gathered, you know that we bringing this heat. Scripture on scripture, we call that a precept. We making it plain for our people to see. See, see, I saw on your internet, not just your internet on your TV. Radio stations compelling our nation to wake up and change and come out of sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep in America. We are not scared of ya, we are prepared for ya. Puppets so are back with a vengeance. He saw you gon' get it. You know what you did to us. 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 Israel, Persian, Saints! Israel, Sons of God! Who's the king? Who's the king? Who's the king? Shalom, Israel. We come out here on the Sabbath. This is the Sabbath of the Lord. Y'all have heard much. Brothers trying to wake our people up. By letting you know who you are according to the Bible. That's right. Y'all know we've been, been told a lot of things. But one thing we have not been told, and that is the truth. Bring it out. Give me that in 8, uh, 32. That's why we have to come and show our people the Bible that they may be restored back to who they are That's and right. where we have came from. That's right. What they say we are is not what is true. The Bible is true. Bring it out. The book of John, chapter 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Read that one more time. John, chapter 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Our people do not know the truth. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, you, know, you do not know that you are the children of God. That's right. We don't know that. But when people call us thugs and call us out our names and tell us that we're nothing, but God says we are his beloved. That's right. And we're here to let you know that message. Give me that in 2 Timothy 2 and 24. Read on. Therefore, hear the word at my 
coming from God. That's right. This is not our book. Right. This book is the book of the Lord for you so-called black, Native American, and Hispanic. That's this right. is your heavenly father. And he said that we're to give you warning from him. That's right. So what are you doing wrong? You say, I'm doing everything right, am I not? Let's find out. Give me that law that they're breaking. No, give me John chapter 3 and 4. Because you are, you saying you're doing everything right because you go to church and you give some man your money. The book of John, chapter 3, verse 4. Nicodemus, say it unto him. Nicodemus, 1 John, give me 1 John, 1 John. Yes, sir. So we are here for our people. We are here to teach you. Yo, bro, you got any questions? Sister, you got any questions, mother? You have any questions? Do you want to fly you? Can we give you a fly you? Bring it out. First John chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committeth sin, whosoever don't obey what God has said, read. Transgressive also the law. What God said, there's going to be a penalty for not obeying what He said. How you doing, sis? You doing okay? Did they give you a fly? Take one from the brother over there, sis. Come here for a minute, sir. I want to bring something out. Oh, praise. We see you going down the road, sir. I'm going to tell you something that we teach. And, I, and I, that, that the Bible teach. Not what we teach, but what the Bible teach. Give me that law with a sister uh, a modest pair. Yes, ma'am. Can I give you this one script? Just one script. First Timothy, right? First Timothy. Chapter 2. Verse 9. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Sis, you got on modest apparel. Right. You know that? You got on modest apparel. That's what we are here trying to teach our people. That's right. And we're trying to get them to understand that's, that's a law from God. That a woman have to dress like that. You don't have to advertise your life to get attention. You are that's right. right. That's, that's right. just the right. spirit. Right. She said you don't have to advertise your body to get attention. I know she got to go, but thank you for your time, sir. Oh, Oh, Read it again. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with shamefacedness and sobriety, not with broided hair or gold or pearls or costly array, but which become women professing godliness with good works. That's what we want our people to do. Come back to the works of the Most High. He was reading that in 1 John 3 and 4. He was telling us that we are breaking God's commandments or breaking the law or the institution or the right that God, the things that the Most High has commanded us to do. Go back to that again. Bring it out. 1 John chapter 3 verse 4. Whosoever committeth sin, transgresseth also the law. We out here to teach our people. We're not here to debate. We out here with meekness to teach, being patient with our people, because we want y'all to come to who you are, to wake up out of your slumber or in your sleep. We know you've been hoodwinked. We know that been, you've been deceived. We know what they have done to you. We know that you are in the land of your captivity. That's right. This is not our home. That's right. The Bible says that we are pilgrims passing through here. Right. Yeah, fix it. First John chapter 3 verse 4. Whosoever committeth sin, transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So if God tell you something, you say, well, God, I love you. Well, God want to know if you love him, keep his commandments. That's right. Show God that you love him. The brother already brought it up, but we'll read it again just in case. Yeah, First John 14 and 15. You must know these things. You must know this. This is our understanding. This is our way. This is our salvation. Yes, that's right. right. That's right. The book of St. John, chapter 14, verse 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Christ is letting us know that in order for us to achieve the life that he wants us to have, we have to. It's a must that we obey his commandments. What's up, bro? Yahuwah. Yahweh Elohim, Yahshua. Bro, come here for a minute.
come in for a minute. Come in for a minute. You all right? You all right? We here to help you. Somebody get his brother. Give him a fly. We want you to have a fly. What's oh, your yes, name, I bro? I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know you're an Israelite going to the Bible? Oh, you yes. know that. I'm okay. Yeah, help me know. out. Help me out. I thought you were yeah. trying to yeah. All praises, man. Yeah. So you know that you called and you command. I see you got your beard over there. Yes, yes. You're holding on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They want to get a shaving, but what is the profit of man to gain the whole world yet lose his soul? Now I work for the circus. Oh, you work for the circus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've been over there helping the people over there at that circus? Yeah, yeah. Okay, now listen. We're going to bring out this chapter, this verse for you. I want you to hear it, okay? Number, what, what do you got? Number. Okay, read that. Hold on. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 37. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak unto Judah. Talk to you. And bid them. Tell them what I want them to know. That they make them fringes and the borders of their garments. And you see the brothers behind you, beside you, in front of you. You see the fringes? Yeah, yeah. If you're Israel, this is a law for our people, right? Uh -huh. You might not be instructed in this, but this is a law for our people. Read on. Throughout their generations, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. That's a commandment for us. It's a commandment for our people. Yes. That's how we know we're separate people. We're different people. Yes. We're people that's above yes. all people. Yes, that's right. So you commanded the weather. I know very well. I know very well. It's very hard. But you can do it, bro. That's yeah, a, you, you, you're wearing your beard. Oh, yeah. Huh? Okay. Where you come from? I'm from Orlando. You from Orlando? Well, we're going back to Atlanta real soon. We're going down, we're going to have a pass over down this show. So where do you congregate in? Where do you keep these laws and statutes and commandments? Where do you congregate in? It's just you. <laughs> get somebody. Get somebody. Yeah, I'm part of the Church of Philadelphia. I'll uh -huh. keep you from now. Our child is going to be touching the house. Okay, I tell you what. Okay, listen. But we got a school here now. We have a school here. Oh, okay. All right, hold on. All right, read. Okay, this is good. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together. O nation not desired. Gather yourself together, O nation not desired. That's what we're doing. We gather together. It, just like you should gather together with your people. Just like we are your people, right? You would gather yourself with us, right? All right, pull that script. Leviticus chapter 23, verse 3. Six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest. And that's why we have here. This is the Lord's day. And holy convocation. And so that's the gathering, the holiness of this convocation. That's what makes it right. That's what the, the Most High commanded us to do, is to come together. Right. These brothers from Rome. These brothers from... Uh, uh, they come together to congregate, fellowship with like-minded brothers. That's, that's right. right. That's what they come to do. And you command. That same law applies to you, too. I was about to That's right. But you know what? The Most High is moving by His Spirit. Give me that, right. uh, give me that in uh, Romans chapter 8 and 16. Let me have that. Hold on, brother. I'm going to read this script. Look from Romans. Chapter 8, verse 16. Yeah. The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit. The Spirit of the Lord, which is the Word of God, bears with our spirit. It bears with you. You say, hey, I'm Judah. We say, we're Judah. Listen at this. Read on. That we are the children of God. That's how we know we're the children of God. But we have to keep these commandments. We have to keep these laws. You have to have your fringes on. You got your beard. And right now, if you know better, you will have your head off the top of your head. Because we're not to cover our heads when the Word of God comes out. Bring it out, bro. That's a law among our people. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. That's what we're to do, not to cover our head when these scriptures are coming out. When you're praying, you're not to have your head covered. That's one thing we have to understand, what this Bible tells us what we must do. Read it again. First Corinthians chapter 11 verse 3 But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ and the head of the woman is the man and the head of Christ is God. We know every man praying or prophesying having his head covered dishonoreth his head. So who are you dishonoring when you have your head covered? You dishonoring
God and the Most High. That's right. And you don't want to do that thing when you, you don't want to dishonor Christ. You don't want to dishonor Christ because he's your hand. You want to show him homage. You want to show him respect. If you have children, I went to my father's house. I went to my father's house. He told me, you want to take your hand off. That's what my father told me in his house. Give me that uh, in uh, John uh, 6 and 46. Hold on, bro. I got you. 46. Book of John, chapter 6, verse 46. Not that any man have seen the Father, save he which is. Luke 6, 46 is the script we're going to bring out. This is what Christ, more instruction for our people. We're glad to see you, brother, stand up here. We're glad to have you, brother. This is your Bible. This is your history. This is your salvation. This is your heavenly Father. That's right. The book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 46. And why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? That's what Christ said. Why would you call me Lord, Lord? Which of us will have children or nephew that we will ask them to do something they don't do? We, we would not like that thing. You think Christ, Christ don't like what we do? The most I don't like what we do? When he tells us to do something, we don't do it. He has a problem with us. I have a problem with my children. Don't do right when I tell them to do right. I got a problem with them. But you got to understand that Christ is giving you the kingdom. It's yours to possess. He's working up men. I myself chose to come to serve the Most High obediently. I came to serve him to do the will of the Father. Give me that. In Psalms uh, 40 and 8. Because you have to do God's will. Bring it out. That's why we are out here for. To wake up you so-called Native American. You so-called black. Think about it. They call this a color out of the crayon book. What are they trying to hide from you if they won't tell you the truth? That's right. Right. The book of Psalms, chapter 40 and verse 8. I delight to do thy will, O oh my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. That's what we are here doing. We keep God's law. That's, That's, right. Right. That's how we're going to get the kingdom. That's how we're going to rule this earth. That's right. That's by right. keeping God's law. In the state that we're in today, it's because we have failed to keep God's law. That's right. Right. And so there's punishment on our people for not obeying God. Bring it out. He brought it up. Let's bring it out then. Verse 15. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. The curses are the punishment that we go through. You say that curses, but I'm going to use another word. It says punishment for our people. Right. Give me that. Give me that in uh, 5 and 1 of Deuteronomy. I want you to give me a name of these people. I want to know a name of who these people are. That these punishments are on. Deuteronomy chapter 5 verse 1. And Moses called all Israel. And Moses called the Israelite. That's if it. your daddy is on the side according to the, your history, according to your father, according to your nationality, you are an Israelite. But I want you to know that. Read. And Moses called all Israel and said unto them, Hear, O Israel, the statutes and judgments which I speak in your ears this day, that ye may learn them. That you may what? That ye may learn them. Read. And keep them. And keep them. And do them. We're commanded to learn this Bible. We're commanded to keep and observe the times that God has commanded us to do them. And we're also commanded to do the laws as well. Read that Bible precept of that again. The statutes and judgments which I speak in your ears this day, that ye may learn them and keep and do them. We have to learn them, keep them, and do them. Yes, right. You so-called black men, American Spanish, these are your laws. They was given to you, and you have to keep them. That's why we are out here letting you know that this Bible is your Bible. This Bible is your salvation. Then if, this is, if it's your salvation, that means he's your God. So give me that back in Deuteronomy 28, where we was at. So the word was, these was Israel.
Israelites that he spoke to. That's what you say. But he gonna put it back together. You know that, right? Think of 37. Hold on, hold on. This is what you're talking about. We're just gonna give you a script of what you're talking about. Hold on. The book of Ezekiel, read chapter 5, chapter 37, verse 15. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah and for the children of Israel, his companions. Then take another stick and write upon it for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel, his companions, and join them one to another into one stick. And that's what he's going to do. We're going to come back again together as one nation, as you see here, as the 12 children of Israel. Yes, Lord. He said he would raise up the tent of Judah first. Give me that. The book of Zechariah, chapter 12, verse 7. The Lord also shall save the tents of Judah first, and the glory of the house of David, and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Judah. So give me that first part again. Who's, who's going to raise up first? The Lord also shall save the tents of Judah first. He's going to save the tent of Judah first. That's why most of us are Judites here. Most of us, the so-called Judites, are here in America. So he's going to raise us up first. Then he's going to bring the other nations as well. We got Issachar. There's Issachar. Issachar right here. He'll put his, back, his people back together to bring them back to that one stick. That's what we were sharing with you. This is what he's doing. We're waking up all our people because we've been in a state of sleep and slumber too long. But it's high time that we wake up out of this sleep and come back to the children that we are, which we are the children of God. Bro. Uh, uh, bring, bring it out. Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord. Who said this? Saith the Lord, unto, unto the day that I rise up to the prey. Until what day? Until he rise up, till he comes back. Listen to what the prophecy is. Read on. For my determination is to gather the nations. Together all Israel, listen to this, that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour out upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Give me those next two words. For then, for then, listen, for then will I turn to the people a pure language that they may all call upon the name of the Lord. To serve him with one consent. Do you understand that, bro? He said that he read that part again when he said he would give us that new that uh that, that new blank. Give me that again. Verse Zephaniah chapter three and verse nine. For then will I turn to the people a pure language. A pure language. It's coming. It's coming. So, you know that we are here like we are. You know, I, I was given the name that I was given here in this captivity. So, you, that's, that's the understanding. But it's going to come a day where we're going to get that pure language, bro. You be patient. You keep, what you need to focus on is keeping these commandments. We're keeping them fringes on your head. And making sure you're praying them not with your head covered. And when you're reading them scriptures. That's where your mind needs to be at. Let them give you the script right here. Revelation chapter 19, verse 11. And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his hand were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew. So if he have a name that he that's written, that, so the name that you got, how you know his name? It, don't nobody know it. That's right. But you understand what I'm saying? Read it again for the brother. Verse 12. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew. So he gave it to 
you already did. That's what you tell him. Oh, but he himself, and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. So what we want to focus on is God's command. So let's let's do this. Give me that in 14 and 15 of John. Because what I'm saying to you, brothers, basically this is that we're commanded to keep God's commandments. Right? And if, if you want to keep God's commandments, that should be the thing that's going to give you salvation. It's going to be the thing that's going to give you the salvation. But what I'm saying to you is that here is a name that was in, in this, this dialect here where we are. Basically, like, what's your name? Is your name Pagan? My name is so what I'm saying to you is that, no, I understand what you're saying, but the point I'm making to you, bro, it's not what you, it's not that he's given us that new name yet. All right, read the book of Isaiah, chapter 28, verse 11, for with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to this people. Jesus is Revelation 9, 11, and the Lord You understand that? Read it again. Isaiah, chapter 28, verse 11, for with stammering lips. And another tongue will he speak to this people. So he's speaking to us in the language that we, the captive that we're in. That's why, he's, that's why we're speaking. That's why you, me, you understand the same dialect. It's the dialect that was given us when we brought over here in captivity. That's all the, the point I'm trying to make. Huh? All right, hold on. Okay, we're gonna break, we're gonna read Revelation three and twelve. Your brother, want to read this script? Book of Revelation, chapter 3, and verse 12. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, what's the argument? What's the argument? I need a recap. What's the argument? Okay, so hold it. Okay. Oh, preach. Give me that. Revelation, chapter 3, verse 12. Him that overcometh. Have, we, have you overcome your sins, brother? Okay. Brother, have you overcome your sins? No, I'm not. I haven't overcome my sins. We still got those sins that buffered us to this day. Until Christ come back, we're going to have to endure. Right? Him that overcometh. So him that overcometh, will I make a pillar in the temple of my God? They're going to be leaders in the temple of God. And he shall go no more out. He's not going to go out into captivity anymore. And I will write upon him the name of my God. So that, hold on. Do, do, do we got, we don't have the name? Read, read that again. And I will write upon him the name of my God. So you just admitted that you didn't overcome yet. So you don't have the name of God. Read, read it again, read it again. And I will write upon him the the new name, the name. The, listen, 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 brother, 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 brother. The scripture, the, the scripture says, do not interrupt a man in his name. He was also named Emmanuel. He was also named the Word. These are titles. These are titles. No. We're going to see the name that we got to call upon him. Listen, brother, 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 listen, listen, read. And I will write upon him the name. The name, not the new name, the name, the name of my God, uh -huh. and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem. They gave us that name, Greek. Which come down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. Then I will write upon him my new name. So he's going to give us the name, and then write upon us our new name. Give me that a joke. Hold on, I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you why we can't get the name. I'm going to show you why we can't get the name. Give me Matthew. Give me Matthew uh, uh, six. Hold on. We go. Hold on. We go. Give me. Hit me out. Give me a couple scriptures, and I'm gonna let you talk. All right. I want the Lord's prayer. Matthew chapter six and verse nine. After this manner, therefore, pray ye. So after this manner, this is how we're supposed to pray. Great. Our Father. Our Father. That's the name, our Father, which art in heaven. Uh -huh. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Holy is his name. Why? Why is his name holy? Give me that in Job. Jump to Job. Job 15, 16. 
I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.